Hey, Frank Mayhern, privacy consultant, blackmail expert, and author of How to Disappear. Today, I'm going to talk about social media blackmail, specifically Instagram blackmail. It's where a lot of people get snagged. If you're an adult, you have Instagram. I don't get it. I mean, what's the point? But here's the point. A lot of blackmailers troll Instagram. And what they'll do is they'll say, find a target and a target who has like information about their town or a local school or something like that. Then they create an Instagram profile and sometimes they pose as somebody who went to that high school or who lives in that town or a nearby town. So then they'll connect with a person to follow them, send them a DM or something. And so when you look at their profile, you're thinking, hmm, they live a town over or something like that. They got pictures of the movie theater and, you know, different things like that. So you kind of have this pre-established sense of false security because you think they're local. Plus, the other problem is they're really attractive and you want to believe it. So what blackmailers do, they'll connect with you and they'll extract all your followers and who you follow specifically they go after the people with the same surname as yours and so what happens is you, you start chatting with them and they'll say hey listen let's get off of hangouts you know why don't we go to skype whatsapp google chats you know snapchat lately snapchat is like the big place to go and so once you're at one of those places what they're looking to do is go live on video. And so you'll, you'll they'll be very aggressive in just trying to video you, and then you'll see this attractive looking woman, boom. But they'll say, hey, listen, or they'll tie it that their audio is broke. Red flag, red flag, because what you're looking at is a looped video. Same thing, you know. Sometimes they'll try to talk over it, but most times they'll just type and you fall into it and you're typing back and next thing they tell you, they want to see a bit of you and you compromise yourself. Within seconds, they just turn it around and they send you a picture or a copy of the video that they extracted where you are doing things you shouldn't be doing online, or at least not with a stranger. And so what happens is they want money and boom, they're going to send you a list of all your Facebook friends or your Instagram friends, and they got you. The problem is that video you sent them, ain't nothing you can do about it. There's no such thing as hiring a hacker who's going to locate them and corrupt the file. There's no such thing as hiring a private investigator who's going to hunt them down and locate it and convince them. Blackmail is easy to get into, not so easy to get out. The only way to truly combat blackmail is through disinformation and through negotiating and stalling and things of that nature. So if you're playing on Instagram, you should be totally private. Just lock it down. Facebook, lock it down. And even you shouldn't have a profile photo. I don't know why people on Facebook have their employment. It makes no sense. I mean, who cares? When you're doing something online and somebody approaches you, they're an unidentified stranger and nothing more. So if you get hit up by Instagram blackmail, or some of the blackmail, you need to stall. You need 24 hours. They're going to say, listen, we want 500, 5,000, 15,000, whatever they're going to say to you. And they're going to be really, really aggressive. You have to back them off and say, look, I got no cash. I need 24 hours. My friend will limit money tomorrow. No matter what, you have to stick to that because you need time to figure out what's going on. You need 24 hours to come up with a plan whether that's a plan you figure out on your own or whether that's a plan where you hire a professional or someone like me to help you get out of the blackmail. But whatever you do, don't ignore the blackmailer. Don't block the blackmailer because if you do, you run the risk of being exposed because you will piss them off. Maintaining communications gives you the opportunity or it maintains a sense of control for you because you know what's going on. Because if you block them or ignore them, they're going to hit up one of those persons, one of those friends or followers, 
and they're gonna say, hey, look, and I'm looking for so-and-so. Uh, I have some important things about some photos he wants to know about. They'll make it very uncomfortable where people will start contacting you. So again, if you have social media, make it tight. Don't be so apt to accepting friends from everybody. I mean, do you really need to be that popular and have like 5,000 followers? I mean, who cares in the scheme of things? It's just basically trouble waiting to happen. So if you get caught in blackmail, stall. You need 24 hours, as simple as that. And if you need help, contact me. My name is Frank M. Mayhern, and I am a privacy consultant. Be safe out there.